Um, uh, Mr. Pierre, would you like to use this opportunity to comment on the recent incident involving Joachim Henry and um, Guy Joseph? First of all, I really want to express my deepest condolences to the Henry family. Nobody knows what it feels for a father and a mother and two lovely daughters to lose their 27 year old son who has already become a doctor. I lost my parents, Andre, six weeks from each other. My parents died sick. My father died, and my mother died six weeks after. They'd been, they'd been together, they'd been married for over 50 years. So when my father died, my mother just went, went, almost <laughs> went to meet him, right? Mm -hmm. So nobody can understand what happens to a man when he loses his son. That emotion, Andre, you can't feel it, it never happened to you. And only somebody who it happened to can feel it, what it means, the hurt and the pain. When President Trump from, lost his son, Joe Biden suspended his campaign. He suspended his campaign for two days when President Trump lost his son. When Joachim Henry lost his son, I have it on the record, that was when Guy Joseph at meetings attacked him the most vehemently. That is when he said the worst things about, about, about Joachim Henry, Ernest Hiller, Kenny Anthony, and Philip J. Pierre. And it's on the record, which, I can, which we can play for you at any time. That's when he said the, the vilest things about, about Joachim Henry. Instead of saying that, listen to me, let, let me have a truce. The man's son is dead. Let's have a truce when the son is buried. That is what men of substance see. That's what people who genuinely care about people say. Not people, that, and that's what people who not only looking for political mileage. Because in this election, the United Democratic Party believes that they must win at all costs. And when I say at all costs, I mean at all costs. So they will do anything. So, so what should happen is that Guy Joseph should call a political truce. He should say, let me let Joachim Henry rest. Let me let, let him bury his son, let his son rest in peace, and after I'll continue my politics. He never did that. He continued the most vehement and nasty attacks on Joachim Henry and his family. So where were these attacks made? Is that At public, you want me to start paying one for you? <laughs> That's okay. No, 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 because you know, when you tell people these things, they just, and the United Workers Party and the surrogates, they're so consumed in making political mileage, and so consumed in making, in winning at all costs. They have absolutely what the young people call no chill. You understand? Because so, Mr. Pierre, up to now, we don't quite know what is it that... Exactly. Uh, mm. and, and I will not send radio mm. what he said. Because it's too low. It's too degrading. It's too unbecoming of a government minister. I must tell you that Joachim Henry is a human being. He's in pain. He's, and that's not his nature. He's in pain. You understand? I will not... I am not. I will not tell you. Joachim Henry should have gone to the 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 church, but that's a man and his wife who is in anguish, who is suffering, and you hear another man in your same church. And by the way, Angie, I want to apologize to on behalf of the party to the Seventh Day Adventists in the country and to the leadership of the Seventh Day Advent of the Seventh Day Adventist religion, if in any way. What we did, what, what happened, brought the church into any issues. I want to apologize publicly on behalf of the Henry family and Dragon Henry in particular. So you're saying you, don't, you, don't, you didn't support his, his actions? I don't mm. think that was the right thing at the time. But I can understand his anguish and his pain. And I ask, I know the church is forgiven, is, is a forgiven church. I ask them to forgive him, if, forgive him if he made any transgressions. But I also want to, to, to say that at that point in time, you can never do... There are, very, there are different stages of grief. And at that time, you can never know what a man does. So I want, to, I want us to pray for, for, for Joachim and his family. I want us to take him under our care. I want us to think about him. I want us to allow him to bury his son in peace. And let us forget the politics for a while. And let's see. Let's, let, let our humanity, let our human, let our human feeling. Not, everything is not politics. And this is what happens in the United States Party. You, the United States Party has no chill. They, have, they don't understand. They use the vilest and the basest methods to achieve political gain. They say the biggest falsehoods, even though the truth is available. So I want to say, I want to ask us to pray for Joachim and his family.